sitting behind me right now is a world first, a Scotland first for sure. Stenhouse Muir have won their first ever league title. So it is a few hours before kickoff and since we are hoping for something historical and massive and something that's never happened in Scotland before, let's have some typically Scottish scran to start us off this morning. What's the betting that Dundee gets called off again? Alright, Bob. Alright, mate. Can I have a roll and sausage and a flat white? Yep. It's quite an unassuming little building there on the side of like an actual service station. Old Inns Cafe. Honestly, an amazing place to stop if you're ever driving through this part of the world. Rolling sausage, tatty scone. Bit of brewing in there as well. There is no better way to start a Saturday when you're going to a football match than this. Here we are, back to where it all began for me in Scotland. There we go. We're back at Stenhouse Muir, the first place I ever saw an SPFL match. And today they could win a league title for the first time in their history. Well, that's kind of true. I'll get into it in a little while, but look at that, Falkirk Council. It's been a great season for this part of the world. Falkirk, last weekend, mathematically won League One, and Stenhouse and Muir are on the verge of doing League Two as well. So it's been an amazing couple of weeks and season in general for this whole region. I was there to watch Falkirk do it last week. Um, can we see Stenny do it this week? Hope so. Basically, all Stenny have got to do today is win, but there are a few different stipulations as to what could happen today around the Peterhead, Dumbarton, Spartans games. Um, but yeah, Stenny just got to win and they'll be crowned league champions. Cruz, Stenny fan? Yeah, I am, mate. What would it mean to the Stenhouse Muir fans to win the league today? Everything, absolutely everything. I mean, oh, no. We've never done it before in our history and uh, it's been such a positive season. Obviously, the results haven't been going all the way recently, but. Um, it means absolutely everything to such a, a big community club and to, to to us who have been here for so long. We've never seen really any wins, any league wins. Or obviously, we had the playoffs in 2018 where we managed to go up. But yeah, so you have had a few promotions within the SPFL, but it's all been through being runner-up or playoffs. We've yeah. Always, yeah. We've never ever won a league title before, so this means a lot to all of us. And um, obviously, I've not been a steady fan for as nearly as long as some others, but it means just as much to means me. everything yeah, and means give you a everything. podcast a shout out as well yeah we've got a podcast that we started in the summer um, so we've had it going for this full season it's called the We Cinch Podcast you can find it on Spotify The highest ever attendance here at mm -hmm. Ockleview was against these five, and you yep. play them today. Yeah. If you win today, you win the league. Mm -hmm. It's quite funny how it's against these five, isn't it? it that way, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, today, if we get three points today, that's us going to be champions. But it's not going to be an easy game. I mean, East Fife are a decent team. We have a lot of history between the clubs, and I've got to say that this afternoon we're very confident but we're not overconfident. But this, we do get promotion today. It's a culmination of a lot of hard work by a lot of people yep. this season, especially the manager, Gary Naismith, and his team, because they have done marvellous for this club. And speaking of East Fife again, I don't want to make it too much oh, about them, no, no. but he won the league at East Fife East as well, Fife league did, two. Yeah. So do you think his experience has helped you this season then? Uh, I would say that his experience and his, his whole attitude to the game it's a totally different from what we've had before. East Fife, the away side today. Yeah. Although obviously Stenny could win the league, you're still going for playoffs this season, right? So it's a big game for you as well. Oh, definitely. We're on a, a really good run just now. Uh, undefeated in eight, five wins, three draws. New manager Dick Campbell's doing well. He's doing doing very well. He's uh, been a breath a breath of fresh air for the for the club. So we're here today to win. Um, obviously, I've got a lot of time for, for Gary uh, and Brown, I've known yeah. them a lot of years and you know, hopefully, I, I know what he's hopefully they, uh, they, they will go on and win it but um, 
today we are here to pick up three points. And how's the relationship with Steny? Because there's quite a few links between yourselves and Stenhouse Muir, like you said with Gary and a few yeah, other well, different we, things. We've got no issues with the relationship with, with Stenhouse Muir. We help each other out where we can. Um, it, it's, 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 there's camaraderie there. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, let's be perfectly honest, they deserve to win the league. They've been the best team this season. Uh, and, uh, you know, good luck to them. Amazing. Just hopefully, hopefully not today. <laughs> New club shop, what can people buy in here then? Anything they want. There's, there's your salesman there. What, what have we got for selling? What have we got selling, in it? Uh, we've got hats, scarves, t-shirts, flags. We have got mugs, books. Pencil cases. Anything people could ever need with Steny on, yeah? Uh, and, and and the well, at least you don't see that on many football shirts, do you? You could win the league today. Yeah. Um, how much would it mean to you to win the league? Um, really, so much. I've been a fan for five years. Five years, and you're a ball boy today, is that right? Yes. That's cool, mate. And what's the score going to be today? 3 0. 3 0. Good luck, my man. It is so windy today, so I'm going to apologise in advance for any of that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to today because i uh, covered Steny a few times and to be here on what could be a massively historic day for them is such an honour but yeah there's some really really interesting side facts about Steny and with East Fife and stuff I've mentioned already in this video that their biggest ever attendance was against East Fife that was at home in the Scottish Cup quarter final in 1950 they've played a Scottish Cup semi-final against Rangers they lost that but they've been a football league club in Scotland since the early 1920s the first season that the second division was reintroduced after World War One Steny became a league club. Ian, you're stepping down, aren't you, at the end of this season? You've been chairman for how long now? Six years as chair, 12 Six years. years on the board. So wow. I've, I've, I've been here quite a while. It, it certainly seems that way. I mean, COVID years kind of feels like they're, yep. they're missing almost uh, as it did with everybody. But it's, 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 uh, it could be a long shift as a, as, a, as a chairman. You put a lot into it. You know, we, we spent a lot of time planning, trying to get us to a point like this where we could have a real go at it. We're having a go at it. We'll hopefully keep going and get ourselves across that line. What's some of the stuff that you do behind the scenes that people might not know about then? Um, it's a bit everything, just about every decision. You will we work one past the board, sometimes we'll put it into the, the board chat we've got. Other if you haven't got the time to do that, you need a quicker decision, mm -hmm. it all comes through the, through, through the chair. Um, as well as then, the, the, the chairman sets that direction. He comes up with the initial plan, puts it to the board, takes on board the, 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 the various points, and then you've got to deliver that, that uh, keep everybody on that focus and keep everybody moving. And so will your final game be at home or away? Is it, have you got an away game? Um, it'll be an away game. Our last game of the okay. season is an away game. That's a shame, but you should hopefully get the trophy on the last home game of the season. Yeah, so you've been game. here for that long. How nice is that that it will end with you winning the league? The first one in the club's history as well. It'll be huge. It'll be huge. Yeah. More, more for the club, just for, for every supporter that's been here. And I've got family connections to the club. Yeah, my grandfather played here, you know, and all of that. So we've all we've all got that, that connection, that community club like Stenish Muir. So to finally get it done, you know, to see that happening, I'll, I'll be going a happy man at the end of that day. And where can Stenny go after that? Obviously, if they win the league, they go up to League One. Can they sustain themselves as a League One club and maybe even go a little bit higher? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we were probably bottom three, bottom four budget in, in, in League Two. Um, we built ourselves up to having a top five budget. So we did that, we came up with a plan and hopefully it's going to get us across that line. Now it will be doing that whole process again for League One. We'll redraw a plan, come up with something and off we go again for League One and get ourselves in, uh, even higher. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. We went on the league. You're no Don Martin. You're no Fiat. I can't wait to walk you rub it in your face, darling Albin. You are coming down. We're coming up this time. Big news, mate. You're going to be here at Stanley next season. Can we reveal yes, that? Yeah. I'm going to be the new head of media. Right, okay. So hopefully I can take their social media to a new level. Big shout out to the media team at the moment, Angus, you know, all them doing a great job. They're obviously moving on to Pastors New York. So obviously I've came out to check out the guys, hopefully they win the league today. And yeah, obviously it'll be a great story to tell for next season. So League One, they could, well, should be in next season. I mean, they could win the league today. If not today, it'll be at some point they're so far ahead. Yeah. Do you see them doing well in League One? I think so. You know, oh, Steny will be going up there to, to make some noise, yeah. as Warriors do. 
However, I think it'll be a, a, a new yeah, lease of life for the boys. Yeah. Also, be able to play the football that Gary Ness has been doing at the moment. So, yeah, I think they'll do quite well. Fair play, he's five for a lot of fans, aren't they? They've done well with the sport, eh? Yeah, loads of them. Oh. Oh. I'm DJ. <laughs> Come on! What does that mean then, Cruz? That means that as the results stay the same, we have won the league. So even if you draw? Even if we draw. Because the game's not been great so far. I don't know if you've had a shot yet, have you? Yeah, no, no, I know, but if uh, it stays 1-0 in the body of the game and we draw, we have won the league. Twenty-six minutes, all nil nils in the Prem, all nil nils in the Scottish Prem, nearly all nil nils in the Championship. A couple of games of a goal in League One, and then quite a lot of nil nils in League Two as well. First half wasn't great, it's nil nil. Yeah. What do you think the score's gonna be in the second half? I think it'll be one nil then it'll be your 90th minute winner. I'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Nice last minute yeah. winner. What do you think the score will be? Same. Same, one nil. And who's been your favourite Stenny player this season? Who's been the best? You and O'Reilly. Aye. He shouldn't be playing in the league. You think he can go higher? Yeah, definitely. Your name was? Mick. Mick Bateman. And you're from Yorkshire, but you East support Yorkshire. Stenny. Yeah, you've been supporting Stenny for whatever, uh, 50, 60 years, 50, 50 years. Yeah, yeah. and you just fell in love with the club when you yeah, came? Yeah, that's right. And so you couldn't miss today? You couldn't miss today. It was, this was, we were very, very lucky in the fact that we actually, you know, got tickets for today. You can't even believe it. For a team that's just a few points away from winning the league, look at the last few results, Stenny. 0-0, 0-0, 1-1, 0-0, 1-0, and that's 6-1 loss against Clyde. Shows how good their early season form was, I suppose, but they've won one game since the 3rd of February. The 3rd of February, they beat Dumbarton. They've not won a game by more than a goal since January the 13th. So they're not in the greatest form right now. But as things stand, they are going to be crowned champions, but they've not been convincing the last few weeks. Does Stenny even want to win this league? Oh. So what is that? It's 2 2 feet ahead. So Clyde have just scored as well. So what does that mean then? Are you still winning the league? You made it hard for yourself today, haven't you? The maths are being done all around me. Everyone's checking their phones. Hang on. They're still playing. So if the draw's all right for them. Oh, no one can celebrate just yet. Is it done? I don't know. It's not done yet, is it, surely? YouTube channel, give it a quick shout out. Bye, McCann TV. And what did you think of today? You're a neutral here, yeah. That's what it's all about, isn't it? And how do you think they'll do next season in League One? DJ, how many league titles is it for you now then? Yeah, uh, this will be my fifth. 
fifth league yeah, title. Uh, so one at Kelty, obviously one here. Yeah, yeah, two at Livingston as well. Two, two at Livy. Livy. Then always the best. Every single league team we've done. No matter how many have I Nice to be got obviously the fifth now, this is up the same as the first the boys you get just for a minute, the boys have been actually growing all year. Every promotion you've had has obviously been through playoffs or runners up, but today's the day you've mathematically won League Two. How does it feel? Feels absolutely brilliant. After all these first, years, first time ever we've won a league. Why do you think it's taken so long, and what's different about this team? I've no idea. The start of the year, the team were absolutely phenomenal. They were steamrolled everybody, yeah. everybody. And they didn't make it easy for themselves this year, did they? No, uh, this, they today, sorry. The last last five weeks we've been we've been falling over the line, and we eventually yeah. got there. Already. Got there eventually. Well, congratulations, guys. We've got a lot of celebrating to do. We can hear the lads through the yeah, yeah. through the door there. That's been the song that they've played all season, so. I think it's um, Jerry Cinnamon, some sort yeah. of mega mix. Okay, cool. Um, so every time we've had a victory this season, the lads have generally pulled on, so that's been the sort of... That's kept you going through the season. Yeah, but listen, to be honest though, for the last four or five games we've drew, so we've not really had to get the music on, but yeah. obviously... The Why do you think delighted. the form tailed off a little bit in no, the last month No, it never tailed off. What happened was, the, the biggest thing that... The biggest thing that's happened was, we set such a high standard in the second quarter, winning 12 games in a row, yeah. that whenever we didn't win, people thought we had tailed off. If you add that in against Clyde, we had a, a bad result. But if you actually look, in the last 10 games, we've only lost once. So everybody goes, your form's tailed off. Yes, Just a lot of draws, a, yeah, 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 a lot yeah, yeah. of draws, but listen, all the teams are chasing us. We've been at the top of the league for maybe, what, three and a half months, four months, we've had yeah. a big gap. And for that, that period of time, nobody's been able to close it. Whether you get a draw, whether you get a win, Occasionally we've had a defeat. The biggest thing is that nobody could actually close the gap on us. Yeah. And again, I don't even know the results there. I don't know if it's any closer now. So credit to the players. They've been honestly an outstanding group. And um, we've proven that we've been the best team. You know, you win the league with four games to go. That says a lot. Yeah, it does. And you've obviously had a great career yourself. You won the league with East Fife, the opposition today. Yeah. And you played for a lot of big teams as well. But having champions across your chest thing, yeah. Stenhouse Muir, that's never been done in the history of this oh. club. Where does this rank in your career? Listen, it's not really about me, um, but I think in my last couple of jobs previously that I got a raw deal and uh, I'm grateful to Stenish Muir for giving me the chance to get back into football. Um, I was quite confident when we were building, it seems easy to say now, but I was quite confident when I was putting the squad together that we were going to go very close and I told all the players that in pre-season. But listen, uh, you and I have played in football, I think I said for hearts at 17, I'm 46. 46 now, we're coming up for 46 and um, I've won the Scottish Cup, a league with East Fife, a league with Stenny and a playoff with Huddersfield so in 29 years I've only won four things so okay. every time that you win something you never take it for granted, you yeah. don't know when the next one's coming, I think there's an eight or nine year gap between this one and the East Fife one so you enjoy it, of course we're going to enjoy it and um, that's about as far as I've thought just now really. Uh, I said this when we won at East Fife, and be, it's for the people like the directors, the older generation of fans that have supported Senna's yeah. Muir for 16, 17 years. Listen, and they've I, never seen I this I come before. and I go, hey, the yeah. players will come and go, but the, the fans of Senna's Muir are here forever, and the younger ones are very lucky because they've seen a team win very lucky in their lives, but yeah. the 60 year olds, the 70 year olds that have came week upon week, yeah. travelled all every area of Scotland, it, it's more for them, you know, the players will they'll get on their CVs and that's great, and they'll get the acknowledgement, and I get the acknowledgement as a manager, but it's more for the people that are the life and soul of the Amazing. club, I think, you know, I think it's more important for them, and I hope we all have a really good night. I'm sure they will. Thank Cheers. you so much for your time.